Welcome to iFocus Tutorials. In this video, I will be explaining the concept of piping in Linux. So I will say that the most powerful shell operator in Linux is pipe. So what if you want to move the data between the commands? You can just use a pipe and make your process easy and quick. The pipe command is used to send the output of one command to another. To do so, you have to use the pipe character in Linux. So basically, the output of one command acts as input to another command. The syntax to use piping in Linux is given. So let's take some examples of piping. First, I have created a file and in that file, I have listed some names of fruits. So first, I will use a cat command to display the list. So this is the list with 15 names. Now, if I want to sort the list, I'm going to use a sort command for the same file. And if you see here, the sorting is done. Now, what I will do is I will use the pipe character and combine both these commands together. First, I'll clear all the things. So now first I'm going to use the cat command and then I'm going to use a pipe character for sorting. Now, if you see here, this is the same file with all the names in sorted manner. So the output of the first command is given as an input to the second command. Now, another example on the same file I'll use is to find a certain word. So, so first I'll use the, again the cat command and a pipe operator with a grip command to find a word. So let's find a peach. Now, if you see here, the output of this first command that is cat command is given as an input to grip command. So the word that I have searched is peach which I am getting it at the output. Now from this uh, entire list let's just display only first eight lines. So again I am going to use a cat command, a pipe operator and the head command to display first eight lines. So if you see here only the first eight lines has been displayed here. Now, after displaying the first eight lines, we are going to combine the output of this head command to the next command and just display the four lines from bottom. So I'll just clear all the things and I'm going to use the same command that is cat first, then the head command to display first eight lines and then combine this for a tail command to display the bottom four lines. Now, if you see here, this is the output that is a output of head command is given as an input to the tail command and so I'm just getting the four lines from bottom. Now another example on the same file I'm going to use a word count. So again uh, using a cat command and a pipe operator with a wc command. So it is basically word count and if you see here I'm getting the output as number of lines, number of words and character count. Now I will use a redirection operator and redirect the output of this wc command into a new file. So let's uh, see that is uh, first I'll use a cat command then a pipe character with a wc command and a redirection operator and I have created the file uh, just a second okay. So this is my new file and I'll just display the file contents first. And let's check whether it is empty. So this is a new file. And if you see, it is currently empty. Now I will redirect by using WC command and then redirection operator to a new file. So if you see here, the output of WC command has been redirected to a new file. Now let's display the new file contents. And if you see here, the same output which I was getting it here previously, now I'm getting it in a new file. So this is a redirection operator that we can use to redirect the output. In this way, in pipe character, each command takes the input from the previous process and produce the output for the next process.